my mother, Maria Esperanza. I'm very moved and very really touched yeah. to see that such Maria a beautiful audience. And Our Lady, I wanted to tell you that Our Lady is distributing many graces tonight yeah. so that you all may be pleased, so that you may have among you human solidarity by the grace of the Holy Spirit, working in each one of you, being able to feel in your heart rejoicing the Holy Father that Mary is palpating in your hearts, listening to your petitions. There is something beautiful Florido. and that, has been blo that is blooming and is marvelous, which is a, a heavenly cherubim, her divine son, Una Jesus. Plaza. Here you have Estoy him. Aquí. Let us applause for Jesus Christ. I infinitely thank the, invita thank the invitation, the, I thank the Mariani family, Drew, his father, his mother, and all your people, all this great city, all these cities that are nearby, and those people who came from other places. How beautiful it is to feel that Our Lady is calling us to be able in this way to trust in her everything that we carry inside. And she, with a smile, soft and delicate, is opening her arms, telling you, my little children, my heart I gave to you, my heart I give to you, and my heart I will continue giving to you for always. Behold the Holy Mother, Mary, Virgin and Mother of the Church, and I say of the Church, because she is the Mother of the Church who is calling us all to a Holy Church, to an Apostolic Roman Yes, the Church is the Mother, the Holy Church, a mystical Church that's tender and delicate to her children and pleases all to help us to walk in a better way. This message of my mother is a message of love, of fidelity, of trusting our Lord in order to restore the souls, to win them back, to affirm the, the hearts so that all may continue walking forward, overcoming the stumbles. Overcome, win, defeating the Porque enemy because many times he tries to stop the march of God's works but this mother virgin and mother of our church reconciler of nations she comes to reconcile us and she has come to this place to call you telling you, my little ones, here I am, I come looking for you, so that you may live true Christian life, with an open heart, simple, humble, generous, compassionate of their brothers, because we must be compassionate about our brothers, no matter how they come or where, where they come from, what's important is to stretch our hands out to help them walk in the path of virtues, of Christian virtues. And you see this today, that we have in, the, in Peter's chair a great pope, a pope of these times, 
a man that is just, a man that is generous, a man that is compassionate, a man who reaches deeply the hearts of the Catholics of the world. He comes to touch the vibrant, the vibrant fibers of all of his children. He represents Jesus. Yes. And he is working with honesty, with the honesty of a true apostle, a true child of God, a pontiff who opens his heart to all. And I speak about the Holy Father because Really, we need to become close to him in a very special way in these times when his health is not well. He's, feel, he's having much afflictions and pain, so many things. So we must be understanding and very pleasant to him. We must pray for his health so that our Lord may extend his life. He has to live. He has to live, O oh Lord. You have extended his life, but now it's urgent. So, in this way, all of us can raise our prayers to heaven, saying, Holy Father and generous, compassionate with your children, here you have this son of yours, John Paul II. He is your beloved servant. He's the servant of this time who is coming to restore us, to draw us back, tuning a song of love for a mother, Mary of Nazareth, the flower of Mount Carmel, the wild violet of the fields. It is she, Mary, the humble woman of the Calvary. This is why, O oh Lord, we all humbly beseech you for the health of our Holy Father and for all those who are working to make a new, better world of peace, of brotherhood, of unity of mankind. This is why Jesus, tonight, here, in this great city, that is opening its arms to this ordinary woman, we beseech you, Give courage to our Holy Father and grant courage to this woman that you see here so that a compendium of new lives may rise and stand to live the gospel and to carry the, the gospel to everywhere in the world and that our shepherds may prepare us. We need to be prepared to be united and to endure and bear each other. It is difficult to bear and endure, but we must endure each other so that in this way we may fulfill the great crusade that must renew the, the death of the earth and do you know why? Because the earth needs purification. Man, man that is rebellious and is rebelling, that is come, falling into contradiction, we need a base. We need firmness in our actions, in, a, in our actions of life, opening our heart, the, the, the vivid heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. They are giving themselves in a very loving way with much generosity, trying to reach all the chil their children on earth because I'm going to tell you, the mother, 
Mary? She's coming to gather us all with her divine son. And do you know why? Because Jesus has taken the scepter and has said, Mother, stand, my mother, come with me as shepherdess of souls to lead all the sheep that are wayward with courage, with fortitude. Come, mother, and help me to touch the hearts and to lead them and take them to the sheepfold of love where the green pastures and the pure waters are which reaffirm the trust of God's children and I will tell you now Betania It's a little village of poor people. Yes, humble. But their simpleness. And there is a heart that's ready to take the message of a mother. Because it is Mary who comes to gather us all. She came the 25th of March, as you must have read, some of you, of 1976, after two years that we bought the land with some friends who are here today, they are here tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Andreu. And then, when they bought the land, we, the Bianchinis, had to go to Rome, and it was, it was necessary to be there. And something very beautiful happened. Some years went by, and one day my mother, my holy mother, appeared to me under the title of Lourdes and she said my little daughter you have to go back to Caracas because I will come as I have promised you the it's coming the time of times is arriving and I as mother of the Redeemer has to give face to us circumstance, very difficult. As days will pass, you will realize how many things you will have to see. This is why we turn to Caracas and for by the 11th of February I will be beside you. Later on she appeared to me the 25th of March. It was a preparation that was truly of great sacrifice, of surrender, of total surrender. It was very beautiful for me to feel my mother so close. And I said to myself, I, a married woman with children, nobody will believe in me. But she said, no, do not, my little one, do not suffer. My divine son, and this your mother, the mother of all humanity, is ready to touch the heart in one way or another. Because I come to rescue you all, my little daughter. I come to rescue all, black or white, ugly or beautiful, rich or poor, all. I come to rescue this humanity that is confused and deteriorated because they are not respecting divine law, the div our God, divine, our God who is in heaven. So, truly, all these things filled me of an infinite emotion, tender and delicate. I felt that my mother really was with me 
mujer, como in spite of being otra, an ordinary woman defectos, with flaws and qualities but she's so understanding and so good that she knows how to handle things and how does she order them in such a wonderful way Entonces, so el 25 de marzo, the 25th of March but uh, three days before this, she uh, told, called her husband in Rome, and he arrived a day later, because she, he, I wanted my husband to be with me. But it was impossible, impossible for him to come and to be with me in the precise moment. All the family was in Rome, and it was very difficult to uh, move the whole family. But what happened was so beautiful. When she came that day with her rays in her hands, very beautiful, all dressed in white, in the bran among the branches, I could see how her veil got tangled, her beautiful hands, Pure, mios, purest hands, white, a white, like, she was white, but had a sun-tanned color, she wasn't blonde, she had a hazelnut color hair, and her big eyes was, had the color of honey, they were beautiful of a light brown I felt that life that my life remained there forever beside her and she told me these rays that come out of my hands are to enlighten all men so that they may convert so that, so that they may practice the gospel so that they may pray the rosary so that all families be united because my little daughter family is what worries me family must grow filled with love filled with understanding of true esteem for the people who are around them and everyone who may cross in their ways may they try to give them even if it's a glance or a smile or a holding of hands to all I ask look into your eyes look into each other's eyes contemplate each other so that in this way we may attain understanding the understanding of souls and you may love each other and may respect each other and esteem each other of course this message was a little long the first part was very short tell, saying that it was her race her presence in Betania and she said my little daughter you see this it's so lonely this will be filled so many souls will come from all over the world looking for refreshment and soothing and consolation for their afflictions so many will rise how many my little one and my priest my shepherd will rise it is the time they should rise because it's the time to prepare God's people we cannot lose any time because if, we not, if it's not prepared we will have moral ruin of a nation who desires for social justice and when I say social justice I mean that then man may be able to really be lost lose its way because many will not know how to really interpret what it really means behold
Deseo. I wish. El pastor está en este lugar. That my sheep. El lugar de my todos los que lleguen a To make of this place of all those who will come to my Dándole mother's arms, opening their arms to give them breath Porque and serenity. Because it is serenity que debe en el mundo. that must reign in the world, en los hogares, in the families, en las familias, in the homes, en todas, wherever, las in all the religious communities, an understanding entre hermanos, among brothers and sisters, una viva fe, a, livid, a vivid faith en el corazón de Jesús, mi divino hijo. In, our, in Jesus Christ's heart. Her divine son, my divine son, and a tenderness towards the children and to the elderly. We must help them in their old age to walk slowly so that they can walk with a smile that Britannia is coming to open its arms to the world, to all ideologies in the world. My little daughter, nobody can be lost. All have to reach the fountain of the love of this mother in my divine son. This is why that I say as we are seeing now all over the world our mother Mary is coming with her messages with her call of alert to, to man with her softness and tenderness she's, call, she's calling us to order so that in this way you may, we may become aware you may become aware and really dedicate to prepare, in preparing for that great crusade among brothers around the world that, so that all, all, may, all must come out to evangelize. Our, these times are asking for evangelization. We are reaching the apocalyptic times, I can say. So, I desire tonight to thank all who are here for your presence, for your presence before my mother. It is her, it is she, my mother. It is she who heals. It is she who alleviates. It is she who does everything. I am simply an ordinary woman who listens to her call and who wants and desires for all to love each other, understand each other, and stimulate one brother should stimulate the other to live a life, really, a true Christian life. Christ lives among us. We don't see him, but we feel him in our hearts. Jesus is in the tabernacle. How many centuries he has remained in the tabernacle waiting for all of his children. And those children, many, yes, have followed him with the fidelity of an innocent child but others have rebelled and still continue waiting there in the midst of the uproar of the world in the midst of the passions and pleasures and there they have remained and you can see how can drug, and I say that they are in a very bad condition because you can see how drug is destroying the world. Such a great pain feels my mother and Jesus. This is why I, I make a call to the parents to follow their children. Do not leave them alone. Control them. What they are doing, what are they doing, where are they going? And I say this 
Because the young, the young boys and girls, when they are growing, they want to know about the world, the passions. They're young. They have blood. They have new life. And they want to know what is this, what is that. And we must teach them and we must tell things to them. Yes, and to take care of themselves as a crystal glass, pure and clean, that should be spotless, that should not be dirtied by the weaknesses of flesh and passions which, which make a disorder in, in the moral of man. So then, parents, be very understanding to your children. Be zealous, constant watchmen of those children. Give them yes, what they may need for their studies, so many other things they may need. Who can do this, but follow them. Take care of them. Protect them. Gather in your homes. We, the Catholics, pray the Holy Rosary. Sit at the table all together to share the bread, to live an honest and worthy life, a, fa a life of family that may fill the heart with joy and hopes and of those three, the theological virtues, faith, hope, and charity. Charity. Charity in full hands. Wherever you go, wherever you may go, wherever you live, charity. It's charity that will save us. Without charity, it's very difficult to enter heaven. And we all need to come in to enter heaven so that in this way, Someday, we all may be able to sing the Ave Maria in the presence of the Holy Mother in that eternal heaven, marvelous, that's waiting for us. If it's your will, my Lord, and if we do the, our best to live a life in accordance to the commandments of God's law, with the, God, with the doctrine of Jesus, with that marvelous doctrine that's firmly and standing unheard, blessed, holy. I would like to talk about many issues, matters that are very necessary in these moments. But time is short. I know that the choral group has to sing, that Dr. Gutierrez has to, has to talk also. So, I will finish very soon. But I wish to ask from you something. Let us pray in this moment for Medjugorje, for my mother. Do it for her, Our Lady of Peace, so that there may be peace, so that there may be unity so that there may be a spirit of endurance in that land, in that blessed land where my mother had left her footprints there and had saved so many souls. I am with the children. I am with all Medjugorje, with my heart. And I know that where reconciliation may come, we may have peace in the world. Without reconciliation, we cannot have peace. So let us ask, because reconciliation may 
confine the whole world and we may come out proclaiming mother of peace blessed mother of mine we have peace the peace in the world the peace of the universe the peace in the family the peace of all mankind let us pray for them in this moment let us pray for all the apparitions of my mother wherever she has appeared and let us pray for our priests again so that they may be able to make programs very beautiful programs and that is to call God's people to become aware and to be all prepared and stand in line and in this way to be able to carry the word of God to be able to live the gospel and I repeat this again because it is evangelization is urgent the young have to be prepared it's the youth that's outcrying for justice it's outcrying for love and truth it's crying for knowledge especially it is crying for mercy, for God's mercy. And I say you, because the boys and girls, they truly want to live in a healthy peace. Many young people, we have m many young, good young people exist. And I could say most of them, some are wayward probably, but there are many, many young people who are preparing themselves and who really desire to work, to give glory to our Lord and to Mary, Virgin and Mother of the Church. Let us become aware tonight. Really? About the reason why Mary is here. This is the second time that I take her away from Caracas, from Betania. When I went to Maracaibo, the people there asked me to bring our lady and now I felt I myself I felt for the love I have for her I had a disposition of bringing her here because she told me my little daughter take me take me there where you are going to that great country who loves its fatherland and has outcried for, for justice and love, knowledge. And for this, Mary has come to visit you. It's a short visit, yes, but, but a visit that will perdure, last, eternally, in the hearts of many souls, because she's coming to reconcile us, reconcile of all nations and people. Ask her anything. Tonight, she will listen to you all. And you will prove in these days, 24, 7, 48, 72 hours, that she will visit you in your home with her flowers of, of love, with her roses of love, with the breeze of the Holy Spirit. The sick, some will be healed. Others will improve from the ailments. Others will feel a hope, an illusion of something that has arrived to their homes, but they do not know what it is. Something new. 
deja Maria. It's the hope that Mary is leaving. Van a sentir también. They're going to feel ansias de superación espiritual. Desires Deseo of being de better spiritually. Deseo de recibir desires of prayer. To, uh, desires of receiving the Eucharist días, daily. Aquellos que no puedan. Those who cannot. Van a comenzar a recibir al Señor. Will begin to receive our Lord. La Eucaristía. The Eucharist es la base primordial de is the prime base of a human being. La Eucaristía the Eucharist es el alimento nuestras almas. is the nourishment to our souls. It comforts us. Nos alimenta. It, it nourishes Nos us. Gives us peace. Nos da gives us understanding, serenity. Nos da vida and gives us supernatural life. You see me here? It seems that no. I can that I am very well, but no, my condition is very delicate. I had to make I had to make a great effort to come here. But she told me, "Do not worry, my little wa my little daughter. Go very calm and trust in me." Because if if you if your voice doesn't come out in a moment. The moment that, that you will, you will be in the proper conditions to speak. Yesterday I couldn't speak, and now you see today how this beautiful, generous mother gave me my voice. So, ask her anything that you want. You, the priest, who are our shepherds, you who have the grace, the greatest grace that a human being can have, the absolution of the sins of man, to absolve us from our sins. That's a prize from heaven, a prize of God, a very special grace. Because you have passed through a seminary, you have passed through many trials and a series of things, that truly deserve, deserve to be able to absolve the sins of man. And some, something even more beautiful and greater, that is to take our Lord into, our Lord into their hands and to, rise, to raise him high. He is the Eucharist, his holy body, that is the bread, the Eucharist, you must know it well. Amen. It's our nourishment. It's our life. It's our hope. It's our great love. Esta es la de Dios. Because there is Jesus. El there. Amor vivo de Cristo. The love of Jesus que that is given. Porque allí está Jesús. Because Jesus is there. The vivid love of Jesus that gives us of Himself as He did on the cross. En la cruz. With his body on the cross, with piercing nails that cross his hands. And then the spear that opened his side. Water and blood that come from the side of Jesus at the fount of mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Behold the divine mercy of our Lord. You can see how it's coming again in these times to show us that he is there. We can touch him in the Eucharist and with his open heart he comes to enlighten man to make, to, to make him aware and to give him back restore in him in man the joy that he has lost with so many pains and sorrows that he has had some probably because of the lack of trust Por la falta del temor de Dios. for the lack of God's fear, for the fear of God. And I say fear of God, no al Señor. not to offend our Lord. No Do not offend our Lord. Y por eso digo, for this I say, yo amo. I love. Y digo amo. And I say love, este don maravilloso del temor de Dios. that wonderful gift that is the no fear of God. Temor de que me not to be fearful about no he's going to punish us, al padre, al Señor, but no the fear of offending him, no we should not offend him, our no father, hablar. we should not speak en vano. in a wrong way, we, could, we should not be unholy in our ways of speaking, our word should always be a word of hope.
de darle la ilusión a las almas. Of giving illusions to the souls. De ayudarlos. To help them. De mirarlos a los ojos. To look at them in the eyes. De confortarlos. And to comfort them. Y ayudarlos a caminar. And to help them walk. Cuando estén detenidos en medio. When they are detained in the middle of the way. Y amar a todos los hermanos separados. And to love all, amar a todos all our brothers who are separated, who are divided. We must love all our brothers. No podemos expresar las personas. We cannot reject people. Y es por ello que digo siempre. For this I always say. Todos vamos a una misma fuente. We all go to the same fountain, but with different vessels. But we all come to God. Nosotros of como course, católicos, we are Catholics. We must love our religion. Amarla. We must defend it and love it. Pero no tenemos derecho. But we do not, do not have the right to, to, to be re, no. unrespectful Jesús to amó. other faiths. No, Jesus loved and continues loving and continues looking for all of his children. Entonces, so, vamos a vivir realmente. let us live, really live as true Christians, enduring our brothers, uh, enduring those who offend us. If somebody, of, if they offend us, What is an offense? It doesn't matter. Our Lord is before us. And it is our Lord. It is He who, who, who takes care of make them, making them understand the things without we having to offend them back and being annoyed by that. No. Let us leave everyone to think on their own. Of course, el que podamos Those conquistar who we can win or conquer for our church, our beloved church, la forma que sea. we must conquer them con un by any way with a pure un heart and a heart filled with tenderness. No vamos a combatir. We are not going to fight. No debemos combatir. We, not, we must not fight con las armas. with the weapons del pecado. Of sin. Y digo pecado. And I say sin. Porque cuando blasfemamos, because when we cosas que no son, commit blasphemy, dañando, and we say things that are not correct, we are damaging our own no. person. No. Que ayudar we must help a quien necesita. those who need it. Abrir los ojos those who need to open their eyes before a truth frente a una verdad before a truth Jesus Jesus y lo sabemos todos and we all know this es el hijo de dios is god's son el padre eterno de los cielos of the eternal father of heaven y lo envió and he sent him para salvarnos a todos to save us all a redimirnos con to él. redeem us with his blood a purificarnos to purify us no He gave of himself and Eucaristía. continues giving of himself in the Eucharist. Vamos a seguirlos todos. Let us follow him, all of us. Vamos todos a Let us all rise. Los Especially us, the Christians, we the Christians, para respetar la to forma. respect the sacred form, respetar to respect esa iglesia, that church, esa capilla, that chapel, ese santuario, that shrine. Tenemos nosotros We must all, Pueblo de Dios, nation of God, responder must have to respond. We must respond que to nos the rights that Jesus Christ has given us, El had given us, the right de decir las cosas claras, to say things very clearly y de defender and to defend su his ministry, El the ministry de todos of all our priests, Our, our nuns, our family of God. So, brothers and sisters, now, thank you of listened to this woman, of listening to this woman. Before finishing, I think that we, the women, we must take our places. Let us, cosas a los hombres, let us leave certain things to men, a los pastores, to the shepherds, 
los to the priests. Y and we, Ayudemos, sí. we can help, yes, Pero en una forma but in a way, suave, in a soft, velada, in a veiled trabajando, sí, la way, working for catechism, winning souls, con el Santo Rosario en mano, holding your holy rosary in your hands, in our families, in our homes, siguiendo, following, paso a pasito, step by step, los pasos del maestro, the steps of Jesús, the teacher, Jesus, dador, giver de vida, of life, nueva, of new life, for man. Es por ello, This is why Les ruego, I beg you no se sientan, do not feel nosotras, we, las mujeres, the women, no lleguemos a ocupar that if we do not occupy puestos, uh, positions, grandes, great or high positions in, iglesia, in the church, no, no vamos a hacer aquello let us be Señor nos permite, that vamos. what our Lord permits us to do. It is something that's so beautiful, each one working as God wants us to do. We're not going to jump over or to walk over or take care of things which are, do not correspond to us. The church is perfect. That church must remain unhurt of sin around it. For this, we have our confessors, and we must go to confession in order to ask forgiveness, forgiveness to our rebelliousness, to our Lord, to our spiritual rebelliousness. So, I don't know, but I know that you have understood me. It's so beautiful to work in catechism how beautiful so many so many children to prepare so many children to receive their first communion it's a beautiful a mission when I was young I did that very much and it was beautiful for me with the little children that lived under the, 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 the bridges of Caracas When I was young, when I was 13 or 14 years old, I used to go there and I felt so happy. And little by little, I learned to take the children, to take to the children that beautiful teaching of catechism. How beautiful it is to prepare an innocent child that's going to receive for the first time the, the body of Christ. Of course, us, we the women, many, we must do many, many other things too. But man is man. And, the, and a woman is a woman and we must all occupy our places because when we pretend when we try to be or to do the same of what men do then confusion comes in and especially we lose the works this is why my sisters forgive me probably I do not know the problems that you have here in the United States but I beg you to all the women who work in a solidary way with our church with our priests to continue forward defeating the enemy and the enemy is many times our own frailties and we truly may be able to work in a field where we can truly denote that we are women femininity which is so beautiful 
I know that it's hard. Muchos tienen que salir a la calle. Many have to go, have to go out to the streets to work. Yo en mi juventud, when I was young, a los 16 años, when I was 16 years old, yo tuve que trabajar. I had to work de as a clerk, en un as de an abogado. office clerk in a lawyer's office. Y me di cuenta. And I realized que fuerte. that it, it was very Tan hard. Joven so young to find yourself with an unknown world. Pero sin embargo, but, but however, yo me sentía feliz I was very happy era algo que me because it was something that y I really liked muchísimo. and I learned very much. Y yo, and I, cumpliendo lentamente, poco a poco, little by little, mis obligaciones fulfilled the, my obligations, my duties, hasta que until vino aquel gran día. that great day arrived when Al I went to the convent Esperando. waiting o sea, una making a trial mi señor, an attempt lo sentí en mi because I felt in my lo heart the call I felt that Jesus loved me de sí, I felt him madre, inside me with my mother and I wanted to be a nun Darle todo lo que tenía. to give everything that I had to consecrate my life before an altar adoring him day and night with a strong, with a hard work but, that, but then is when he told me but then it was Saint, Saint Therese of the Little Flower who told me you were born in the world my little sister and in this world you will live struggling with man and taking the word of our Lord and that was when she, I went to Rome and my life began with the religious with the nuns there of course there I met my husband and many beautiful things came after that I thank our Lord I was able to know meet Father Pio who became as a father to me and he taught me very much many things and as days passed the months years probably he told me you need a confessor in Rome my little, my daughter, so that he may help you. Because it's very hard to come to San Giovanni Rotondo constantly. You can come, you may come every three months, but you need a spiritual director in Rome. So he, he told me to go to Father Felice Capello from the company of, Je, of Jesus and to meet him it was something very beautiful to me it was like an awakening to the life of grace he taught me to live and I say to live to live in a constant donation surrendering to our Lord completely, thoroughly. But it was Father Pio's work. And it was for me. To me it was the Father. A loving Father. Generous. With character and will. Father Pio was like that. But Father Capello, on the contrary, had a softer character. And he was, and he took me, but who really exposed my soul to the feeling, a Jesus, to the feeling towards Jesus, a Cristo en mi alma, to feel Jesus inside my soul, fue was Padre Pio de Father Pio of Pietrelcina. And after that, Father Capello La gave me the teachings de lo que of what it meant a soul that gives its life for the others for the others and it is this is what our Lord wants from me 
and I will tell you something beautiful. Padre Pio, Father Pio y Padre Capello, and Father Capello están en de are in sanctity of Lord. Y les digo esto porque and I tell you this es because it's necessary. As days will pass, many things will come. De mi vida. You will know of my, mi vida, of my simple vida. life. Muy a little life en las manos de María. in the hands of Mary y en el de mi Jesús. and in the heart of my Amadísima. Jesus, my beloved Jesus, no lo dejo de amar. because I never stop loving Him. And I wish for all of you to love Him as you see Him here as an innocent child, a beloved baby, giving you His blessing with His hand, His arm, Grace, so many blessings he's pouring tonight upon all your families, all your homes, to your children, for all humanity. And now, thank you, Drew. Thank you, Drew, Barbara Ann and John and all the Marianis family. And thanks to all these blessed people that I've seen you born some Philadelphia will be something important for me as a promised hope and I say a promised hope because truly tonight the Holy Spirit will work in such a way in your families in your homes uh, and heal your sicknesses and all your ailments that you will feel a joy an infinite joy a peace that will convince you and a serenity that you cannot imagine and now thank you I have unburdened my heart of, of something that I carry inside that's in an infinite love and I wish that each one of you may feel free of any bindings the bindings of sin those are the things that hurt us, that damage us I wish that all of you may come out purified, clean, and willing of to begin a new life. In the name of my Father, Yo los bendigo, hijos míos. I bless you, my children. En el de mi madre, in the name of my mother, Yo les curo. I heal you del y del alma. in the body and in the les soul. And I keep you here in my heart. I will keep you. Les I will keep you. Les I will keep you aquí en mi here in my heart from now on and forever. May the peace be with you and the light of the Holy Spirit may enlighten your souls, you're in peace and in harmony with the whole world. Ave Maria Purissima, sin pecado concebida. Thank you all. Blessed be our Lord. Blessed be. Blessed be my mother. And all of you who are here, blessed be all of these children, my children too. I feel it like this. Amen. The blessing that you just received 
It's our Lord, through Maria Esperanza, blessing all of you. So it's very, very special. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Gutierrez. Buenas noches. Good night, good evening. Bueno, es bastante difícil para mí. It's very difficult for me. Ahora pararme en este sitio después de que to stand in this place ha llegado hasta ustedes. After you have listened melodía, to that sweet melody which comforts the spirit palabras, which have been the words of Maria Esperanza, Mrs. Maria Esperanza. Pero como médico, But as a doctor y de ciencia, and as, as a scientist, I want to express to you de manera muy in a very conscious way De que en that, Betania, that in Betania se sucede, se suceden many things frequently frequently muchas cosas many things que la ciencia no tiene explicación happen that science cannot explain solo, that only las we can explain them la intervención de la divina providencia. through the intercession of divine providence y en eso consiste el milagro. and this consists ¿Y in por qué digo esto? And why do I say this? He casos Because I have seen cases en los cuales in which la ciencia médica medical science le ha dicho a sus familiares, has said ya no tengo nada que hacer aquí. that I have nothing to do here. Y así ha sucedido, that the doctors have said to the uh, relatives, caso, to sick people, that they ha there's nothing that can be done. Como en casos de una niña con leucemia. Things that were uh, cases that were beyond recovery as a little girl that had le leukemia. Y quien en medio de esa desesperación la uh, madre and the mother in the midst of that despair of the despair acudió a Betania. Went to Betania. Fue recibida and was received por la señora María Esperanza. By Maria Esperanza, Mrs. Maria Esperanza. Y ella and she la consoló. Consoled her. Le dio la esperanza. And gave her the hope con de tener bastante fe en Dios, of having faith in God, lo cual no tenían sus familiares, because they didn't have faith, these people, y pedirle de todo corazón, and to ask them, la salud, wholeheartedly, porque ella estaba segura, for their que a través de la health, Virgen, because she was, she knew, she was sure that she would obtain the healing. Cuando regresó esa niña al hospital, when the mother brought this little girl back to the hospital el personal se sorprende the personnel, the staff at the y decide hospital was, su, was ir surprised a a ver qué cosas and decided allí. to go to Betania to see what happened que le habían dado la salud to a see what, gave, what brought this girl's health niño, back who oye. healed what, what healed this a little girl ese niño que estaba ya al borde de la was beyond recovery at the brink of death y al saber que solamente and when they found la explicación out que había de todo aquello that the only explanation for all of that era la intervención de la divina providencia was the intervention of the de la madre de Dios divine providence using que, the mother of God para que le devolviera la salud to restore niña health, to restore this child's health. Y fue tal la en el personal médico, And the commotion in the medical staff was so que la médica pediatra, that the pedi pedi pediatrician de la niña, that was treating the child se presentó a Betania con la historia completa en Went su mano to Betania with the medical history y tuvo que concluir and had to conclude esta niña ha this child la salud has recovered her health solo explicable only un milagro the, the recovery of this child is only explained through a miracle y un milagro que solamente se puede suceder and a miracle en that un can lugar como only este. happen in a place like this porque este es un lugar escogido because this is a chosen place de by the mother of God para 
to attend to the needs de las personas que allí acuden a rezar. of the people who come here. Otro caso es el caso a ya another case de un colega is a colleague, uh, another doctor, a friend of mine, que en medio de su who in the midst of despair por el daño que le causaba, for the damage that was causing un proceso maligno, a malignant process a su cuerpo, to his body, fue llevado a he, Betania casi a empujones. he was taken to Betania almost, his wife almost pushed him to Betania él ya no veía posibilidades de curación. because he had no means of recovery y allí en un día de Fátima, and the, during the feast of, Fa of Our Lady of Fatima la Virgen lo recibió Our Lady received him y le hizo sentir en todo su cuerpo and make him feel in all of his body la curación que the, le estaba haciendo la Santísima Virgen. The healing Our Lady was making, was accomplishing in him. De tal manera que cuando regresó in such a way that when he nuevamente a su hospital, came back to his hospital, los médicos the doctors encontraron que todas las pruebas que eran negativas that all the tests eso Maligno, about his malignant process y que la metástasis que habían, and that the metastasis huesos, that he had in his bones had disappeared que Betania, that Betania es un sitio is a place donde se recupera where la salud, health is, is restored se renueva la fe, faith is renewed y nos sentimos más hermanados, and we feel as brothers con todos los que nos rodean. With all those who are around us. Muchas gracias. Thank you.